Hey guys, this is Mukda Pradhan. I'm a functional nutritionist and the founder of iThrive. You're watching me on FitTuck and we're going to talk about thyroid medications and more specifically about why your thyroid medications might not be working. But before we go into your medications, let's understand the thyroid gland a little bit, okay? I'm not going to go too techie here. But the thyroid gland sits here and what it does is throughout the day and through your sleep, it is in fact interacting with almost every aspect of your body and determining whether your metabolism needs to slow down, whether it needs to slow up, uh, fasten up, whether your immune system should get activated, what really should be happening with your energy metabolism, um, should you have more insulin, cortisol, so many things are going on that the thyroid is constantly interacting with. To the point of even like if your brain perceives a stressor, if your brain perceives a certain threat, right, your system thinks that something is stressful, your thyroid is going to immediately receive that information and act on it. So your thyroid is literally working for you 24 by 7 and often we see that when there are other health dysfunctions, whether it's a gut issue or whether there are deficiencies or whether, you know, this chronic inflammation could be anything, the thyroid also gets impacted simultaneously because it's interacting with your body in, in a very deep way. Now the medicine that is given for that, which is eltroxin or thyronorm, that is a form of T4. These are the two hormones that your thyroid glands make. Stay with me as I get a little technical here. T4 and T3 are the hormones of the thyroid gland. If you have enough T4 and if you have enough selenium and all of the other micronutrients, your body is going to convert T4 to T3 okay the conversion is T4 to T3 the usable form of the hormone your body can only use T3 for its work it can't do anything with T4 remember this T4 gets converted to T3 T3 is what your body is using for all the work T4 is just like that it's just a form in which the body is storing the thyroid hormone what are your medications eltroxin thyronorm all of these things they are your um, chemical or pharmaceutical forms of T4. They are giving you T4 without knowing if T4 can convert into T3 or not. This is why a lot of people who are given thyroid medications don't see a resolution in their thyroid health at all because all that they are getting is T4 without optimizing the conversion to T3 and T3 is the hormone that the body is desperately seeking. So what I would recommend to anyone watching this is if you are on thyroid medication, you have to assess whether you actually need T4 or whether you need something else to make that T4 more convertible into T3 because maybe your body is already producing T4 right? and that's why we need all of these tests. If you are already producing T4, you don't need to take additional T4 from your medication. This is where the medications fail. It's like imagining um, if you have a headache and you have a headache because you are dehydrated and you keep taking a crocin, your headache might seem like oh it's going away but for a few minutes again until you drink water the headache is going to keep coming back. That is why thyroid medications don't work because the root cause is often not looked at unless you know the root cause of whatever is creating your thyroid dysfunction you will not be able to permanently resolve it. So that's what I wanted to share for today. I know it was a little technical, but it's important to bring this knowledge out into the world because I think nearly 89 to 90% of people in India at some point or other get diagnosed with a thyroid problem and are put on medications for it. So please understand what is it that your thyroid really needs, whether you need to be on a T4 only med or there is something else that your body is asking you for. Thank you so much for watching this and we'll be back with more knowledge.